Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali. In this video we are going to discuss about aggregate demand. Dear scholars, aggregate demand is the relationship between the quantity of output demanded and the aggregate price level. In other words, the aggregate demand curve tells us the quantity of goods and services people want to buy at any given level of prices. We examine the theory of aggregate demand in our coming videos, but here we use the quantity theory of money to provide a simple although incomplete derivation of the aggregate demand curve. The quantity equation as aggregate demand, the quantity theory says that MV is equal to PY, where M is the money supply, V is the velocity of money and P the price level and Y is the amount of output. Okay, if the velocity of money is constant, then this equation states that money supply determines the nominal value of output which in turn uh, is the product of price level and amount of output. Okay, when interpreting this equation, it is useful to recall the quantity equation can be written in terms of supply and demand for real money imbalances. We have M over P is equal to M over P, D is equal to KY, where K is equal to 1 over V is a parameter representing uh, how much money people want to hold for every dollar of income. In this form, the quantity equation states that the supply of real money imbalances that is M over V equals the demand for real balances that is M over PD and that the demand is proportional to output that is KY here, the velocity of money, V is a flip side uh, of the money demand parameter K here. Okay, the assumption of constant velocity is equivalent uh, to the assumption of constant demand for real money balances per unit of output. If we assume that velocity is constant and the money supply is fixed by the central bank, then the quantity equation yields a negative relationship between the price P and uh, output Y. Let's see a graphical presentation that the aggregate demand curve, we have uh, output or uh, income output on uh, Y x axis and we have price level P on our y axis and we have the demand curve that is aggregate demand curve. This graph uh, is the combination of uh, uh, P and Y that satisfy the quantity equation holding M and V as a constant. This downward, this downward uh, slope curve is called the aggregate demand curve. Okay, the aggregate demand curve shows the relationship between the price and a quantity of goods and services demanded. It uh, draw for a given value of money supply M. The aggregate demand curve slopes downward. The higher the price uh, level, the lower uh, the level of real money balances that is M over P and therefore the lower the quantity of uh, goods and services demanded we have here Y. Okay here we have main question that why the aggregate demand curve slopes downward. As a strict mathematical matter uh, the quantity equation explains the downward slope of aggregate demand curve very simply. The money supply M and the velocity of money V determine the nominal value of output PY. 
once p y is fixed if p goes up y must go down so here we have a main question that what is the economic institution that lies behind this mathematical relationship for a complete explanation of the downward slope of the aggregate demand curve we have to wait for a couple of other videos for now however uh, consider the following uh, logic as because we have assumed the velocity of money is fixed uh, the money supply determines the dollar value of all transactions in the economy if the price level rises each transaction requires more dollar so the number of transactions and thus the quantity of goods and services purchased must fall okay it is it can also explains uh, the downward slope of aggregate demand curve by thinking about the supply and demand for real money balances okay if output is higher people engage in more uh, transactions and need a higher real uh, balances that is m over p Okay, for a fixed money supply M, higher real balances imply a lower price level. Conversely, if the price level is lower, real money balances are higher. The higher level of real balances allows a greater volume of transaction, which means a greater quantity of output is demanded. Okay, shifts in the aggregate demand curve. The aggregate demand curve is drawn uh, for, for a fixed value of money supply. In other words, it tells us the possible combination of P and Y for a given value of M. If the central bank changes the money supply, then the possible combination of P and Y change which means the aggregate demand curve shifts. For example, consider what happens if the central bank reduces the money supply. Okay, we have the quantity equation uh, MV is equal to PY tells us that the reduction in the money supply leads to a proportionate reduction in the nominal value of output PY for any given price level, the amount of output is lower and for any given amount of output, the price level is lower. So let's see our graphical presentation here. We have uh, inverse shifts in aggregate demand curve. We have uh, income output Y on X axis and we have price level P on our Y axis and we have aggregate demand curve. Okay, changes in the money supply if the aggregate demand curve, uh, let's see, a decrease in the money supply reduces the nominal value of output uh, and we have a sh shift in uh, inward uh, the aggregate demand curve. We have lower level of aggregate demand so reduction in the money supply shifts the aggregate demand curve to the left okay in the other case or in the opposite case uh, we have the outward shift in the aggregate demand curve so we have income output uh, y on x axis and we have price level p on y axis so when the opposite case occurs, we have the aggregate demand and uh, if the federal or the central bank increases the money supply, the quantity equation tells us the increase in M leads to increase in PY for any given uh, price level that the amount of output is higher for any amount of output the price level is also higher. So we have a, a outward shift in aggregate demand so we have uh, increase in money supply shift the aggregate demand curve to the right world
So an increase in the money supply raises the nominal value of output PY for any given level of price. Output Y is higher thus an increase in money supply shifts the aggregate demand curve outward uh, from AD1 to AD2. Okay. Here, although the quantity of uh, theory of money provide a simple basis for understanding the aggregate demand curve, uh, be uh, for one, the reality is more complicated. Fluctuations in the money supply are not the only source of fluctuation in aggregate demand. Even if the money supply is held constant, the aggregate demand curve shifts if some event causes a change in the velocity of money. In our coming videos, we will develop a more general model of aggregate demand. We call that model is IS and LM model, which will allow us to consider uh, many possible reasons for shifts in aggregate demand curve. So this is all about the aggregate demand curve. So see you with another video. Ciao.